This video describes how to generate NPCs or non-player characters using the NPC Populator version 2.0 and its updated NPC factory. Please also see the original NPC Populator video for an overview, but this video has the more up-to-date instructions for using the NPC factory. As an example, I will use the Polygon City Pack from the Asset Store, but you can use whatever environment you choose or make yourself. For the first step, download and install the NPC Populator. Do this as you would any asset from the Unity Asset Store. Do not open the sample scene yet. It is important to install the animation clips first in the next step. So next, Download and install the animation clips from Unity's standard assets. Note that the package says for Unity 2018.4. The animation clips work for any version of Unity, and that is the only thing that we will import. Unclick everything, then navigate to Standard Assets, Characters, Third Person Character, Animation, and click on that. At this point, you can open the sample scene. Click the Run button, and you will see the NPCs walking around. Next, open or create your scene. As I had said, I'm using the Polygon City Pack from the Asset Store, but you can use whatever environment you choose. You can select any Unity environment, but some will work better for NPCs than others. Next, configure your environment with a navigation mesh. Unity's documentation explains how to set up a nav mesh, and I have a separate video which gives tips for doing so using any environment that you might get from the Asset Store. Next, place some waypoints. I drag the waypoint prefab onto the scene and then create a waypoint parent object to organize the waypoints. And in the hierarchy, I place the waypoint object under the waypoints parent object. I then duplicate the waypoint to make more waypoints. If you have an urban environment with straight lines and right angles, like this one does, you can also use the Urban Waypoint Assistant tool. I have a separate video that shows how to do that. Next, import some humanoid models. I will add a few sample humanoid models and need to make sure their animation type is set to humanoid. See my video on human models for some example models you can get from the Unity Asset Store. Now that we have our environment with the nav mesh and waypoints and some human models and animation clips, we can set up an NPC factory 
to generate a bunch of NPCs at the same time. The NPC factory has been entirely reworked for the NPC Populator version 2.0. First, we create an empty game object. Reset its transform and drag the NPC Factory script to it. We then have this convenient editor in the inspector. Red indicates required fields that aren't yet filled out. We can also create another empty game object called NPCs as a place to put all the generated NPCs. We drag the NPCs object to NPC Parent. We drag the Waypoints object to Waypoint Parent. We drag the provided Unity Standard Clips controller to Controller. Then click this Refresh button, which causes the NPC Factory to get the dimensions of your nav mesh region. Set the nav mesh mask to include the nav mesh areas where your NPCs are allowed to move. Finally, add as many NPC models as you would like. Each generated NPC will be a clone of one of these chosen randomly. You can also adjust some other parameters pertaining to the size of your NPC models, the usual speed you would like them to move, and with how much variation, whether the NPCs should pause when reaching a waypoint and for how long, and whether NPCs should try to move to closer waypoints if possible. The provided documentation has more details on these. When everything has been set, all the red fields have turned green. Finally, it is time to generate the NPCs. You can choose how many NPCs you would like to generate. I'm going to make one other small change, which is to manually decrease the area where the NPCs will be randomly generated. So we start with a denser population of NPCs in one area. That was an optional step that you don't need to do. Then just push this button and your environment is now populated with NPCs that will roam in the background to add life to your game. As noted in the documentation for the NPC Populator, when there are a large number of NPCs, a large number of waypoints, and a large environment, it can take a minute for all the NPCs to initialize. In this case, it takes just a few seconds for all of the NPCs to start working, and it works very well. Please send an email with any questions about the NPC Populator.